Here we go. Let's finish off the last six problems on the multi-step equation worksheet. And I'll leave a link in the description below so that you know how to get to these free worksheets that are provided by CUDA software. So number 15, we have 2 times 4x minus 3 minus 8 equals 4 plus 2x. I'm going to go ahead and start by dividing by 2. I know that if I divide by 2, the 8 is divisible by 2, the 4 is divisible by 2, and the 2x is divisible by 2. Doing that, I'll be left with 4x minus 3, and then I have to divide this 8 by 2, since I'm dividing the entire left-hand side by 2. So that'll be minus 4, and then dividing the right-hand side by 2, I'll have 2 plus 1x, which is x. Now I'm going to combine like terms on this left-hand side, combining the negative 3 and the negative 4. This is going to be 4x minus 3 minus 4 will be minus 7, or plus a negative 7. And that's going to be equal to 2 plus x. My next step will be to subtract an x from both sides, and I'm also going to add a 7 to both sides. Scrolling over a little bit so I have a little more room to do my work, 4x minus x is going to leave me with 3x. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0, so 3x equals 2 plus 7, which is 9. x minus x is 0, so we have 3x equals 9. I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to get that x is equal to 3. So x equals 3 for number 15. Now moving on to number 16. 3n minus 5 equals negative 8 times 6 plus 5n. I'm going to need to start by distributing this negative 8. That way I'll have 3n minus 5 equals negative 48 plus a negative 40n. I'm going to add 40n to both sides in order for this to cancel out and be 0. And then I'm going to need to add 5 to both sides in order for this to cancel out and be 0. So I'm going to be left with n's on my left and whole numbers on my right. 3n plus 40n is 43n. 43n is going to be equal to a negative 43. Dividing by 43 on both sides, I'm going to have n equal to a negative 1. Number 17, I have a negative 1 plus 7x minus 6 times negative 7 minus x. So what we need to do is we're going to start by distributing the negative, and we're also going to distribute this 6, but before we do that, I'm going to make this adding a negative, because subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. So we're going to be distributing this negative 6. So negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1, plus a negative 1 times 7x is a negative 7x. We're going to add that to negative 6 times negative 7 is a positive 42, and then that's going to be subtracted to a negative 6 times x, which is going to be a negative 6x, but subtracting a negative is adding a positive 6x, and that is all going to equal 36. Now I'm going to combine like terms, so I can combine the 6x with the negative 7x and the 42 with the negative 1. Negative 1 plus 42 will leave me with 41, plus negative 7x plus 6x is a negative 1x, and that all equals 36. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 41 from both sides, so I'll have negative 1x equal to 36 minus 41 is going to be a negative 5. Then I just need to divide by negative 1 on both sides, and that's going to give us that x is equal to a positive 5. 
Remember, ignore this equation here because this is a later equation. So x equals positive 5 for number 17. Let's move on to number 18. Number 18, we have negative 3 times 4x plus 3 plus 4 times 6x plus 1 equals 43. Again, we're going to start by distributing. So we're going to get that negative 12x plus negative 9 plus 24x plus 4 equals 43. Then combining like terms, we're going to get negative 12x plus 24x is 12x plus negative 9 plus positive 4 is a negative 5 equals 43. Adding 5 to both sides will give us 12x equal to 48. And when we divide by 12 on both sides, we get that x is equal to a positive 4. Let's go on to number 19. For number 19, we have 24a minus 22 equals negative 4 times 1 minus 6a. We're going to have to start by distributing this negative 4. So we'll have 24a minus 22 equals negative 4 minus a negative 24a. So that's going to be plus a positive 24a. And you can see if we take away a 24a from both sides. And let's go ahead and add 22 to both sides we're going to get 0 plus 0 equals negative 4 plus 22 is a positive 18 plus 0. So this is 18 equals 0, or 0 equals 18, which means that for number 19, we have no solution because it's not possible that 0 equals 18. So that means that there's no value that we can plug in for this variable a that would make this equation true. And on to our last problem of this worksheet, number 20, I'm going to have to zoom out for this one, negative 5 times 1 minus 5x plus 5 times negative 8x minus 2 equals negative 4x minus 8x. So on the left hand side, I'm going to start by distributing. And on the right hand side, I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 5 times 1 is negative 5 minus negative 5 times 5x is a negative 25x. So that's going to be plus a positive 25x. Plus 5 times negative 8x is negative 40x. And then 5 times 2 is 10. And that 10 will be subtracted. So let's just write it in terms of addition. So it'll be adding a negative 10. And that's going to be equal to negative 4x minus 8x which is negative 12x. Now we're going to combine like terms, 25x and negative 40x, and negative 5 and negative 10. Negative 5 plus negative 10 is going to leave us with negative 15. 25x minus 40x, or plus a negative 40x, is going to be negative 15x, and that's going to be equal to negative 12x. So adding a 15x to both sides, we'll have that negative 15 is equal to a positive 3x. Dividing both sides by 3, we have negative 5 is equal to x. So negative 5 is the solution for number 20, and that wraps up our multi-step equation worksheet. And go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. If you need more detail on how to solve multi-step equations, please go to my tutorial section on YouTube to get those helpful tips and that extra information that may be needed for you.